Okay, what we have here is mouse blood. He was caught about 15 minutes ago in a trap. I took a sample with a pipette, put it on a slide, and used the cover glass to get a smear. First time I've ever done this, so I'm just... I just did it the way I'd read about doing it. I have no idea what this other stuff in here is. I don't know what the dark things are. It's definitely in the blood though. It came with the blood. It wasn't on the slide. I'm using a Canon T1i with a 1.6x crop sensor. This is a Plan 4, Nikon Plan 4X uh, objective lens on a Nikon Fluofot scope. The adapter on the camera has a 2X uh, adapter lens in it. And obviously it's not tuned for these Nikon objectives. So I'm pretty sure that's where the uh, chromatic aberrations are coming from. Adjusting the condenser there. It looks like a hot spot in the middle that I didn't notice. Hard to focus on this little stuff. Get over to the edge of the cover slip here. This is probably dried up quite a bit here. See this thing in the center. I wonder what that is. Okay, now we're going to switch to a uh, Nikon 10X objective. Focus in. There. Let's see, I don't know what that is. I've seen these before in water samples. Can't believe that came out of his blood though. See the blood is still moving. Okay, let's go to a Can a Nikon E40 objective lens that I've got here. Let's see what this thing is. Focus in here. There he is. Yeah, see, I've seen these things in my water samples, so maybe the slide got contaminated or the cover slip, or I'll bet it came off the uh, pipette. 
as they used one that I've used before for water. Kind of interesting. Okay, I've noticed that these blood cells here have spikes on them like a pollen. They seem to be rounding off more now as it ages, but when they were fresh, each one of them had spikes on each blood cell had a was surrounded by spikes. You can still see some of them there. Have spikes the green color I'm sure is chromatic aberrations from that adapter Let's see what else we got around here I guess some round ones might be white blood cells they look like the regular blood platelets donuts Now what's this? This didn't come off the pipette. Whatever it is. So this is at magnification 40 times 2, that's 80 times 1.6, that would be 125 or so. Might be more interesting to check this under the 10x projector lens, which we'll have to wait till the next mouse. Hopefully, that'll be pretty soon. Just here on the edge of this bubble, there's still a lot of activity in the cells.
was flipping out a filter in the microscope give it more light See, I don't know what these bigger objects are but I think they came with the blood It's like a rock concert from above, doesn't it? Possibly that light colored stuff is a mass of uh, white blood cells, maybe, I don't know, I'm not a scientist. Interesting, this is the only liquid I've seen that keeps moving like this. Uh, here you can see the spikes on the individual blood cells. Maybe that's what makes them so twitchy. Makes them itch from the inside out. Okay, enough of that. I'm going to take some still shots before this dries up.